Hi, I'm Copy, bringing you the latest on the EU copyright reform live from Brussels. Today we're going to look at the value gap on the internet. Well, actually, you'll quickly understand it's mostly about music. In this story, our friend Teddy is on the guitar. He's the artist. Take it away, Teddy. And then there's Freddy, the guy with the calculator. He's the businessman. Together, they're an old couple, been in the same bed for ages, tied down by a prenup agreement that Freddy carefully locked away. And then he threw away the key. And at night, Freddy loves to sit up and look at his piles of cash, especially as it grows, year in, year out. Oh, it's huge. Teddy, on the other hand, lies there wide awake, secretly wondering about all the other funky, cool stuff out there. Freddy hates funky cool stuff and dreams of new copyright rules in Europe that would bring back the good old days and make him even more money. New rules that would finally let him have the justice he deserves. Respect from the king, the pope, or the European parliament. But he kind of knows what people are going to tell him. As always, you're the industry, you know, you're, you're a big boy, you just take care of yourself anyway, and that stuff, you know, is, oh, is it legal? I don't know. Honestly, it's not like you're even a role model for fairness either. And honestly, you're making tons of money as it is. Can you not just leave it? Mm, and Freddy falls asleep, depressed and exhausted. But one morning, he has this great idea. Freddy looks at Teddy and Eureka. The whole plot just unfolds before him. Save Teddy. Ah, and the first episode of the series will be the value gap. The idea is simple. You compare apples, like the streaming of music, with pears. For example, the uploading of all kinds of content by users online. You wave your calculator around, shout out a couple of numbers, and there you go! You've just struck gold! He puts this script in an envelope with lots of signatures of artists to make it look more credible, and sends the whole thing to the EU, asking them to modify the copyright laws. And that, my friends, is the story of the value gap. But, 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 are you serious? Is this whole thing just about YouTube? One company, and that's why copyright laws should be overhauled? That is why the way the whole internet functions needs to be radically changed? Or well, let's be honest, is this about showing who's in charge of the internet? Handing out a big dose of censorship to everyone else for the benefit of just a few. Checking everything we upload with preliminary searches, using censorship filters controlled by commercial entities who, first and foremost, just want to avoid any form of problems, which is understandable, but it is in conflict with our freedoms. Using algorithms that are incapable of recognizing exceptions to the rules, such as parody, now dancing baby, that's allowed, fan fiction, and now using monstrous databases that could end up wiping out all forms of protest simply under the copyright heading. And this will apply not only to YouTube, but to the whole internet. Your pictures, your documents, your coding strings, your pin numbers, hell, even your underwear might not be safe if it's in the cloud. And all of that? in the name of copyright. In other words, for the interests of three companies that have decided that they want to pick a fight with a fourth one. The whole internet falls under a scorched earth policy that will end up breaking it just so these big boys can have a fight. No, I say no, because this isn't the only plot that this film can have. We can write a better one, something that talks about creators and users first, rather than just the big boys. Copyright is a tool, not a goal. And the goal is creativity and access to knowledge for everyone. So please, don't break the internet. Make sure copyright isn't pushed and used for an ugly role.